number two on the card tonight. Apparently brought to you by Stella Rossa. Check them out at Parkside and uh, Canelands. This pad we contested over three uh, three minute rounds. Bantam weight at division 62 uh, kilograms. Introduced to you first, fighting out of the blue corner with a 251 win record. He stands 172 centimeters tall, weighing in at 61 kilograms even. Trained out of Fitzroy MMA in Rockhampton. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin McLeod. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner with an undefeated two of fight record. He stands 175 centimeters tall, weighing in at 61.2 kilograms. Trained out of BBA MMA on the Gold Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Alexiou. Both these band mates looking really relaxed, really ready to go here. And when the action gets underway, the man in the middle, Roy Licious Hall. Round one. Alexio coming out with that front kick there. Almost landed. And then he wasn't trying to touch feet in show sportsmanship. The cloud coming back at him. Wow, oh, looks like we might have an eye poke there. That's one of those things that seems to be happening more and more lately where the fighters are sticking their hands out there to find that range or what. Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate sometimes. You know, you, you get uh, you get a fighter that gets that's uh, eye poked, and you know it, it changes them, it changes them in the fight. But uh, I don't think that happened just now. No, nice counter right kick there from the cloud. Plenty of energy, plenty of action early on from these bantam whites. Um, the cloud using that Muay Thai very very well, very uh, effectively using his kicks. Overhand by the cloud. And comes in for the clinch. Alexia with the, uh, the schoolboy headlock. Can be a problem that gives you back up, but instead uh, McLeod circled around and he's got Alexia up against the cage now. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, that's not the most effective move, but uh, I have seen someone get finished by that. Mm. That was way back in the uh, Pat Militic Carlos Newton days. Yeah. You see McLeod again effective with his front kicks. Circling around to take the back now. Alexia really wants to let go of that headlock, otherwise he could find his arm in quite a couple of position. Yeah, definitely, and um, you know, that put him in a bad position right there. But he's, he's still holding on to that head. But what happens is that gives McLeod the underhook and a lot of control in the grappling exchange. Yeah, basically gives him um, access to the, the back, gives McLeod access. Well, it's a free pathway really, isn't it? It is. Plenty of energy from both fighters. I'd have to say, if I, if I was pushed, McLeod, slight edge here as we hit the halfway point of the first rounds. Let's be careful to drop his head like that. Wow, good swing. And Great nice timing with the double leg. Wow. Slipped, slipped the punch and went right into the takedown. Alexia hold, holding on to what, what could almost be a guillotine there, but not going to be too effective because he hasn't got the lower body locked up at this point. McLeod working for a single, possibly. Can't quite make it out from this angle. Looking to hook the leg. Alexis' uh, corner is telling him to put, push uh, the head, and it got, gave him the escape there. Good kind of right hand by McLeod. Thirty seconds to go, Alexis. Thirty seconds. He's uh, he's slight reach advantage now. Oh, big right hand by by uh, Alexo there hurt him. Oh, not sure what happened there. Looks like an eye poke. Looks like an accidental eye poke. Twelve seconds left in this first round. Got to say, McLeod's had, a, had his energy meter's gone down pretty quickly in that last minute of the round. Yeah, he came out really strong in that first half. Justin, give him time to recover here. And that can be one of the challenges in your first time, first couple of bouts even, just getting used to that pacing, knowing that you've got potentially nine minutes in the cage for these guys. 
20 seconds left in round number two. Alexia with the spinning back kick. Spinning back kick. Looking to capitalise maybe in the last few seconds of round one. Once again, big thanks to all of our wonderful sponsors, including mine, uh, Spec Parts, and Cosmic Signs. Of course, at the end of round one there, Justin McLeod looking very strong early against Aaron Alexio. Sorry down a little bit in the back half there. Alexio really looking to, uh, to start to use his range. Yeah, it looked like Ale Alexio was coming back in that second round, uh, delivering his own punches. I uh, feel like he hurt him with that right hand towards the end there. I definitely agree with that. And let's see if McLeod can recover in time for the second round to come out with that same amount of energy. And for that matter, Alexia, they were both throwing plenty of punches early on in proceedings. Yeah, that's the nice thing about the lighter weights is you get a lot of volume. A lot of scrambles, a lot of, a lot of punches. Yeah, don't slow down. Definitely true. Yeah, I'll be interested to see where the fight goes now after that first round. Round two! The cloud with that outside leg kick. Alexia using that movement. Catching the kick and following up with a barrage of punches. Very nice. Looks like that uh, outside leg kick's starting to hurt Alexa a little bit. He's changing his stance up a little bit. Interesting to see with Alexio's grappling. I noticed Jason Robig in his corner this evening. For anybody who doesn't know, he is a, uh, a black belt under Hickson Gracie, one of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners ever. Not. But right now, uh, Alexio could be in trouble. He's... Head's found itself into a guillotine there. Only got one hand in at the moment, McLeod. And McLeod needs to lock up his hands and gets his hips out to the right. Oh, he has freed himself. Oh, out. Looking to take advantage of, uh, of the down McLeod. Of course, body kicks are okay. McLeod gathering up a half guard there. McLeod's uh, nose open up pretty good there. Can cause a lot of problems uh, breathing. Yeah, let's see Alexio's ground game. Of course, wedged up against the cage like that. Very uncomfortable position to work on the ground. Cloud with the underhook there, looking to stand up. But uh, Alexio's on top there, doing a good job to him down. Alexio seems to have pretty good timing there. He knows when to base out. He knows when he can go for his punches and when he needs to just hold position. But again, you can, as you said, Ben, uh, McLeod looking to use that underhook to stand up to his feet. Foot on the hips now, can he push him away? Oh, big punch from the top there by Alexio. You can see he's in that, almost what we call a leg drag position in Jiu-Jitsu. Really strong control now. The cloud taking a lot of punch from on bottom. <laughs> Needs to slow the action down a little bit. Alexio again, using that leg drag very effectively to get position. Front face lock position. Not sure what happened there. Why taking one, one point deduction for foul hitting the back of the head. <laughs> Referee Roy Hall obviously saw something there in the thick of the action that we might have missed here. Alexio is certainly looking much more in control this round, though, isn't he, Ben? Yeah, big time. He's uh, you know. Using his distance very well and you know keeping it down on the ground. He's using a lot of ground and pound, man. He's he landed a couple big strikes there. Surprise it hasn't ended yet. McLeod using his time to recover, as he's entitled to do. Doesn't look quite as pretty as he did when he walked in. His face has got a bit of the claret on it. He's 
to regain his composure there, young Justin McLeod. Yeah, strikes to the back of the head can really damage you. It really can throw your balance off and just put you in a haze. He's up to his feet now. Referee right. When the action gets back underway, 39 seconds left in round at number two. Referee Roy Hall just making sure everything's in order as Justin McLeod gets ready to continue. You'd imagine, Ben, that Alexio would come out swimming for those last few seconds. Really try and push the pace. And he's looking like he's doing that right now. McLeod certainly hanging in there, though. Getting that right hand away, cannot find a home. Claude doing a very good job, surprisingly, slipping the punches and throwing back his own. Alexio trying to take advantage now of that, uh, that Muay Thai club. Ten seconds to go here in round number two. End of round two. Make sure you head to Mojo's tonight directly after the event. Official after party. Carnage in the cage seven. And Ben, you'd have to say if Justin McLeod dominated the first round, Aaron Alexio is certainly in control of that second round for the How about our beautiful the ring majority. girls? This is Lara. However, that point deduction, that could make things very, very interesting if we go into this third and final round. That's true. He might have won that round, but, you know, with that point deduction, it could have changed the whole game. Certainly could, could be even. Just, just don't know what those referees are saying. Was there enough there almost to make the argument for a 10-8 round? You know, he's certainly in a heck of a lot of control there in that top position. You don't see 10-8 rounds too often these days. No, you don't, but... They're starting to implement it a little bit more and more. They are. Getting there. Seconds down! And that's coming as a sport matures. A lot more judges with a lot more of an understanding about all of the facets of MMA. That's Not just right. coming from a boxing background or a grappling background, but understanding the bigger picture. Third and final round! That's a look really fresh coming out. He's throwing that high kick off the lead leg, but it's a very funny angle that he throws it at. Trying to catch McLeod out there. McLeod's turn to catch the kick this time, looking for the dump. Alexia backed up the cage. And they're out. Yeah, McLeod looking like he's he's trying to time it to counter punch over the top with the right hand. It seems to be his favorite strike. A big body kick there by McLeod. And to the leg. McLeod seems to have found a second win here early in the third round. Alexia firing back with a few of his own. Yeah, and, and I feel like the, those outside leg kicks by McLeod are starting to really feel uh, making it make make Alexa feel it. Certain feel it in this third round. Certainly Alexia's movement's not what it was in the second. Both guys still firing away. Alexia smelling an opportunity there. McLeod getting out of the way. Yeah, McLeod did a good job using the angles, circling out and backing straight up to, to the fence. He can see uh, McLeod working for that arming guillotine. Again, he hasn't got control of the lower body, working, working his way to the half guard there. More of a control position, I think, than a, than a really dangerous submission opportunity. No. And the head's out there. Final 60 seconds. Now let's see what Alexia can do on top. Of course, we know the guard's a very useful position, a very strong position if used correctly. But Alexia does have gravity on his side at the moment. Yeah, also with the, with the fence behind you, it, it can make it a little bit easier to get up from underneath um, than if you're in the middle of the cage. Because you can use that cage to, to climb, to pretty much slide up it. 
and get back to feet. Okay, Alexi, heavy on the heavy on the bottom half of uh, of the cloud there. They're just jamming his neck up against it, making it difficult to get that posture. And you can see with 20, 20 seconds. seconds, he's really crowding Justin McLeod on the ground there. That's an excellent strategy there. You make it very uncomfortable to move. Move your hips, which is very important on the bottom. All right, we go to the judges for the first Ladies and gentlemen, seven. please put your hands together. One hell of a fight. And he will find out just how important that second round was. What did you think of that third round, Ben? Man, that was a great, great fight. Good, good comeback there by McLeod uh, in that first part of that third round. But um, I don't know if he did enough to, to take it. And here we are, the mind specs move in the fight. That big spinning heel kick from Alexio followed up with the front kick. Almost looks like there's a little bit of capoeira in there. <laughs> I can say that. Capoeira. That was deep in my past. A oh, big right hand from the top there. Alexio, Alexio getting the best of a lot of the exchanges. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together about number two on the card tonight, proudly brought to you by Stella Rossa, Parkside and Canelands. After three rounds, we go uh, to the judges' scorecard. The judges scored about 28, 27, 29, 26, and 28, 27 for a unanimous decision to the red corner, Aaron Alexiou. So Alexi, you taking the win there. I could not make heads or tails of the scorecards. No. I was just waiting to see who 26. won. But I do think that on the balance of the fight, the right guy got the win there. Yeah. Great show of sportsmanship for both fighters, of course, as always. A lot of respect. Great fight so far, and, um, you know... My all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with you, Victor, Aaron, Alexio. Mate, uh, fantastic fight. Very, very tough opponent, though. You guys uh, had a ball in there. Uh, we certainly did. Uh, this is my first big class fight. It uh, was a little bit more than I, uh, than I first expected. Um, would have liked to keep it cleaner, but, you know, fortunately these things happen. And all in all, had a good night. Had a good <laughs> I was talking to your trainer backstage, uh, Benny Alloway. He's telling me that uh, so you live on the Gold Coast, you run to the train station, catch a train down to the local train station, then run to the gym, train all night, then you're the last one to leave, and you run back to the train station and run back home. So, uh, and on top of that, obviously working full time. Um, how are you finding your progression in the sport? Uh, good, yeah, it's, it's definitely come a long way. I only started about three years ago. Um, Fortunately for me, I've had good trainers the whole time up until, you know, even current. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. I've been uh, really welcomed into it with open arms. Excellent. And you got some people you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, definitely my whole team, my family, all my friends. Um, I've had nothing but support uh, through this whole process. So I'd like to thank everyone, even everyone here tonight. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. Excellent. And thank you for coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our victor, Aaron Alexio.